ever wondered what the most dangerous hiking trails in the world are? Welcome to the realm of heart-stopping adventure, where every step is a flirtation with danger. We're about to embark on a journey across the globe, exploring trails that challenge even the most seasoned hikers. Our ranking criteria? Altitude, weather unpredictability, the mercilessness of terrain, and bone-chilling historical accident records. These are not your average Sunday strolls, folks. So strap in, hold your breath, and prepare yourself for a journey through the most perilous paths on Earth. Starting our countdown at number 5, we have the maze in the Canyonlands National Park, USA. Isolation and desolation define this remote terrain, a place where the echo of your footsteps is your only company. The maze, as its name suggests, is a complex network of red rock canyons, twisting and turning in such a way that it's easy to lose your bearings. Its endless labyrinth of passages and dead ends is a challenge even for the most experienced navigators. The unforgiving sun beats down on the arid landscape, where water is as scarce as the shade. The high heat can be relentless, and the lack of water sources makes every drop of your water supply precious. This is a place that demands respect and preparation, but the challenges don't stop there. The maze requires more than just physical stamina, it's a test of your survival knowledge. You'll need to know how to ration your supplies, how to navigate using only a map and compass, and how to stay safe in the wild. It's a place where your survival skills are put to the ultimate test. And yet, despite its challenges, or perhaps because of them, the maze draws adventurers from all over. The allure of its rugged beauty, its raw, untamed wilderness, and the thrill of navigating its intricate pathways is a call too strong for some to resist. This labyrinth of red rock canyons is not for the faint-hearted or inexperienced hiker. At number four, we have a journey that takes us to the heights of spirituality and danger, Mount Huashan in China. Located in the Shanxi province, this mountain is not for the faint-hearted. It's a thrilling blend of steep staircases, narrow paths, and heart-stopping vertical ascents. Some of these paths are so narrow, they seem to vanish into thin air. Others are so steep, they're more like ladders than staircases. And yet, despite the danger, or perhaps because of it, Mount Huashan sees a steady stream of brave souls willing to take on the challenge. This isn't just a mountain though, it's a place steeped in history and spiritual significance. Mount Huashan is one of the five great mountains of China, a place of pilgrimage for centuries. This sacred peak has been a beacon for Taoist monks since as far back as the 2nd century BCE. They've carved out temples and tea houses from the very rock itself, creating sanctuaries of calm amidst the sheer drops and dizzying heights. But what makes Mount Huashan truly unique isn't just the danger or the history, it's the combination of the two. Here, the journey and the destination are one and the same. The climb is a test of courage, a physical challenge, and a spiritual journey all rolled into one. As you ascend, you're not just climbing a mountain, you're following in the footsteps of monks and pilgrims, scaling the same steep staircases, navigating the same narrow paths. It's a climb that demands respect, not just for the mountain itself, but for those who've come before. The danger is real, of course. Every step, every breath, is a reminder of the risks. But for those who dare, the rewards are immense. The view from the top is breathtaking, a panorama of rugged beauty that stretches as far as the eye can see. And beyond the physical, there's the spiritual reward, the sense of accomplishment, the knowledge that you've taken on one of the world's most dangerous hikes and emerged victorious. Mount Huashan beautifully combines natural beauty, cultural significance, and a thrillingly dangerous climb. Next, at number three, is a trail known more for its fatalities than its beauty, the Drakensberg Traverse in South Africa. The Drakensberg Traverse is a formidable journey through one of nature's most rugged landscapes. Unlike many of the world's hiking trails, the Traverse offers no defined paths. Hikers must navigate their way through the vast wilderness, guided only by their intuition and the occasional rock cairn left by previous adventurers. The absence of a clear route is just the first of many challenges. 
Hikers must also contend with the very real danger of rock falls. This mountain range is old, and time has loosened the grip of many rocks that now teeter precariously above the trail. One misplaced step or a sudden gust of wind can send them tumbling down the mountainside. And speaking of wind, the Drakensberg Traverse is notorious for its high winds. The weather can change in an instant, turning a serene hike into a desperate battle against gale-force winds. The gusts are not just discomforting, they can be life-threatening, capable of knocking an unsuspecting hiker off balance and over the edge of a cliff. The dangers of the Drakensberg Traverse are far from theoretical. The mountain range has claimed its fair share of lives. Over the years the death toll has continued to rise, each new addition a stark reminder of the trail's unforgiving nature. The exact number of fatalities remains unknown, as many hikers venture out alone and never return. However the recorded deaths run into the dozens, a chilling statistic that underlines the peril of this journey. Yet, despite the risks, or perhaps because of them, the Drakensberg Traverse continues to draw the brave and the bold. Its treacherous paths, rock falls and high winds are part of a deadly allure that few true adventurers can resist. The Drakensberg Traverse might offer breathtaking views, but it demands respect and extreme caution. Coming in at number two is a trail that was once known as the world's most dangerous walkway, El Caminito del Rey in Spain. This adrenaline-fueled adventure is not for the faint-hearted. Imagine a narrow path, only a meter wide at its broadest, clinging to the side of a sheer cliff. The wind whistles around you, a constant reminder of the dizzying heights you're navigating. El Caminito del Rey, or the King's Little Pathway, has a history as thrilling as its precipitous views. This trail was originally built in the early 20th century, for workers needing to cross between two hydroelectric power plants. Over time, it fell into disrepair, becoming a magnet for thrill-seekers who dared to cross its crumbling path, often with fatal consequences. The trail is set in the stunning El Choro Gorge, a natural beauty spot in the province of Malaga. The original pathway was a mere three feet wide, and rose over 100 feet above the river below. Sections of the path were missing entirely, leaving only steel beams to cross. High winds could easily upset a hiker's balance, leading to a fatal fall. Because of the increasing number of accidents and fatalities, the local government closed the pathway in 2000 for safety reasons. It remained closed for over a decade, gaining a notorious reputation worldwide. However, in 2015, El Caminito del Rey was reopened to the public after undergoing significant safety renovations. The new pathway, built above the original one, is wider and equipped with safety railings. But don't be misled into thinking it's become a walk in the park. The trail still clings to the cliffside with a sheer drop to the river below, and the high winds haven't changed. Though it has been made safer in recent years, El Caminito del Rey still retains its reputation and thrill. The breathtaking views, the dizzying heights, and the narrow path all combine to make this one of the most exciting and dangerous hiking trails in the world. And finally, at number one, we have the trail that lives up to its ominous name, the Death Trail on Mount K2 in Pakistan. This is a trail that demands respect, a trail that's seen the end of many an adventurous spirit. It's not just a name, it's a warning, a story of the unyielding might of nature. Mount K2, towering at a formidable 8,611 meters, is the second highest peak in the world. But this is no ordinary mountain. The Death Trail is an unforgiving path that meanders through brutal weather conditions, perilous avalanches, and steep icy slopes that seem to defy gravity. Winter swoops in like a hawk, with temperatures plummeting to minus 60 degrees Celsius, an extreme cold that can freeze a human in minutes. The mountain's high altitude and northern location make it susceptible to sudden and severe storms. These storms are merciless, turning the mountain into an icy death trap, a chilling testament to the power of nature. Then there are the avalanches. Unpredictable, unrelenting and unstoppable, they roar down the mountain with such force that they can wipe out entire camps. Avalanches are a constant threat on the death trail, where every crunch of snow beneath a boot could spell disaster. And let's not forget the slopes. Steep and icy, 
They're a mountaineer's worst nightmare. The slightest misstep can send a climber plummeting down into the abyss. Climbing these slopes requires skill, strength, and a whole lot of courage. The Death Trail has claimed a significant number of lives. The mountain's grim statistic stands as a stark reminder of this fact. For every four people who have reached the summit, one has died trying. This chilling ratio, the highest of any mountain on Earth, is a testament to the trail's unyielding danger. The Death Trail on Mount K2 is indeed the most dangerous hiking trail in the world, a chilling reminder of the raw power of nature. It's a trail that doesn't just challenge the body, but also the spirit, reminding us of our place in the grand scheme of things.